Hi, we're FTC Team 4717, the Mechromancers, and this is our robot overview for the Space Coast League Meet 2 event. In this video, you'll hear from our hardware committee about specific aspects of each of our mechanisms. On our intake, we have a drop-down roller, which is driven by chain. As you can see to the left, there are gears, which are used to reverse direction. We also have kicker wheels, which help get the ring up on the steep ramp, and we have a conveyor system. Um, two side-by-side -side belts, and those are using crown pulleys, which help with the belt not shifting up and down since it's a smooth pulley. The lift moves rings from the intake into the shooter. It is powered by a Corhex motor that is geared for speed. The motor powers a belt, which moves a linear slide up and down. The slide has a 3D printed piece on it that holds our laser cut lift plate, which takes the rings up to the shooter. To create the required angle to hit the high goal using our shooting mechanism, we use a drawbridge technique with two strings on either side of the mechanism across two plates with double hinges between them. Once the lift has moved the rings into position, our shooter uses a pushing mechanism to slide each ring into our main shooting chamber. Our shooting chamber is created using a custom 7-inch acrylic wheel with a timing belt placed around its circumference to allow the wheel to grip the rings more easily. The ring meets the wheel as it is pushed and then slides along a flat plate placed parallel to the shooter's edge to create what we like to call the squish factor, or the perfect compression of the ring. The wobble goal mechanism is mounted at the back of the robot and utilizes two servos. The first servo is used to move the arm and lift the wobble goal, and it is geared down so that it can handle more weight. The second servo is at the end of the arm and it helps us grab the wobble goal. There is a small funnel on the grabber that makes it easier to line up with. Thank you for watching our Meet 2 robot overview. If you'd like to see our complete matches from this event, please check out our YouTube channel, FTC4717. Good luck to all the first teams competing this season, and stay safe, everyone!